Good Wednesday to all from the Florence International Church in Florence, Italy. I'm Pastor Randy McGee and it is my privilege today to bring to you a short devotional thought that we pray will encourage, bless, and strengthen you in your walk with the Lord. From Matthew chapter 8 verses 1 through 4 we find the following passage of Scripture. When Jesus came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, See that you don't tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Humans, at least when things are working as they should, possess five senses. These senses are sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. All of them are important in our existence in an understanding of the world around us. While they are all important, and I wouldn't want to be without any of these senses, the sense of touch is one that places us into direct contact with the world. When we touch something, we are becoming intimately involved with that thing. While I have heard of people losing some or all of the other senses, I have to say that I have never heard of a person losing their sense of touch. Can you imagine not being able to touch the world around you? Can you imagine not being able to touch those whom you love? One of the reasons that COVID is so difficult for many today is because with the restrictions, we are told that we must not touch others around us. To not be able to touch them, I think might be worse than to not be able to see them. <clears throat> we all touch thousands of things every day in our lives, most we do not even think about. But there are times when we reach out and we deliberately touch objects because we want to connect with that object. Our touch might be that of love or of passion, or of tenderness, or help in some way, deliverance. Sometimes it can be a touch of curiosity. Our touch could involve many other emotions and process that I didn't mention comes into play here. Often our touch can affect change in the objects in which we touch. Today I want to talk about a touch that is far superior to any other human touch. I want to talk about the touch of Christ and remind you that His touch is the touch of God Himself. When we extend His hand into our life and purposely He touches you, He will produce change that no other touch can duplicate. I ask you today, will you allow him to touch you? Will you allow him to change you? That is his desire. He wants to change you into the completeness of all that he created you to be. And he's more than able to do so. All you have to do is be willing. Ask him right now and feel 
his changing touch. God bless you today from the Florence International Church. Our heart and our prayer is that you would today be filled with the love of Jesus and in his presence in all you say and in all you do. Have a great remainder of the week and we look forward to seeing you hopefully on Sunday at 8.30 a.m. Central Europe time for our weekly message in which we will look more deeply into the Word of God.